Hey, how you doing YouTube? Today I am going to be showing you how to install a condenser number for this one is ACG73748502. And this is what the new one looks like. Um, the first thing you want to do when you get it in, um, just inspect it because it is a lot of work. It's a seal system job. And sometimes when it comes in, the tubes are bent and it sometimes I've had them where they're damaged so just make sure they're not damaged make sure it looks good um, this is what the unit looks like I will show you what the refrigerator looks like and then we'll um, go ahead and um, show you how it's done um, I've shown you how to recover before I've shown you how to make a homemade um, recovery pump in a prior video so I'm not going to show you that today but I'll leave a link in the description that you can go ahead and um, look that up also um, I'm going to leave a link uh, we have an affiliate link or Amazon um, where you can try to purchase this so I'll leave a link in the description as well if you don't have one you can try to get it on Amazon and they give us a little percentage not much but hey every little helps and you help the channel grow as well all right so let's get to it okay here is the refrigerator that we're working on it's a Kenmore Elite um, made by LG so it says Kenmore um, model number for this one is trying to get it to focus 795.51862.611 this is made by lg so all the parts are going to be lg and here we have antonio once again After you recover, go ahead and cut there, you know, to do the filter. I'm sorry, cut there for the condenser. And we're going to remove it from the compressor over here as well. Alrighty. Take the two screws off, which he already did. Now be careful with these. These little fins are sharp and they will cut if you don't grab it right. So just be careful. Now this one you don't have to worry about damaging it too much because you're replacing it, obviously. Main reason you'd be replacing this is um, if it has a leak. Because they are made of aluminum, they do, you know, tend to rot, as you can see from the bottom here. Um, the part of the lines go underneath in the pan right there, which will evaporate the condensation when the refrigerator goes into defrost, and sometimes it'll just eat away on them. When you pull it out, you're going to have to snip this little wire tie right here. Be careful not to cut the wire for the fan. That's what the bottom looks like. As you can see, it's seen better days. All 
Alrighty, so here I have the new compressor that we're going to be replacing. I'm not going to show you that today because we've already done a video on that. But this is the new condenser that I showed you outside. See the difference? This is the old one. So just wanted to kind of show you how it goes. Um, this line would go into here. This goes inside the refrigerator. Refrigerator. So there we go. And this one. So with anything, um, want to sand it down. Behind you, buddy, no worries. Sorry if I'm on camera. <laughs> so that's how it goes inside. I'm gonna step in the restroom for a couple minutes. Alrighty, so now we're ready to put the condenser in. So Now what we did, we cut it below the joint right here. And the reason for that is we didn't want to cut too much. So right now we're going to cut it to size. Also, I wanted to recommend um, the tube cutter that we're using. Um, we got a little mini one by Yellow Jacket. I'll leave the part number in the description and a link to it down below. But these little ones are very good because they can help you get into tight spaces. cutting and handling this um, tube you do want to be careful and not yank on it too hard because it does go inside the refrigerator and in any case if it is broken you can have to make some cuts in here to get more tubing out and well at that point cosmetically it's not gonna look as nice on the back of course some would say hey it's in the back nobody's gonna see it but hey you know, if somebody does pull it up, you know, then, you know, it doesn't look as nice. So something like that, you would have to get customer's approval before cutting into it. 
Um, but if you don't, you can't fix it. Well, at least let them know. Alrighty. So there it is. Don't forget to sand it. We've already sanded it. Now, I personally like grabbing a wet towel and putting it behind um, because when you're brazing the heat, you don't want to melt anything. Um, you can always remove it as well, but I always like putting it back there because the little tub is made of plastic and then you got cables and stuff like that. So. It's just, for me, um, I prefer just putting it in there, cover everything, and that way it's a lot easier. If you need to, remove the harness from the water valve and just set it aside. Just, like I said, just get everything out of the way and put the towel. Towels are very inexpensive, and if you burn something, then you gotta replace it. That can add up really quickly. And because we're brazing, um, in this case, metal with metal, and and when you put it on the compressor, it's metal with copper. You guys want to use? I recommend, or I use the Harris Stay Silver. Um, it's a flux, white brazing flux, and that helps, you know, heat up, the it makes the flame a little bit harder so that it will brace it together, you know, the joints. guys are enjoying this video um, if it's the first time you're here don't forget to like and subscribe you can always leave a comment um, and hopefully you know these videos will help you or somebody you know um, so now that we have the flux I'm gonna go ahead and get to brazing here comes the fun part Pretty much how you read it. 